Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just log in with your credentials and once you're done with this, now just simply come over here, click on the checkbox and click on agree and continue. Now just wait and activate your cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds, so just wait for that. Click on continue. Now in description box, I will share one link and with that link, you are able to access this document. Now what you have to do, just copy your project ID, go back to notepad and paste over here and make sure th there is no extra space after equal to. Now copy this command. Okay, and let me just increase the text size. Okay, now run the first command. Click on got it. Now just simply come over here, copy the task number one command and run. Just wait, click on authorize. Again, go back to notepad, copy the task number two command. Just wait and run the task number two command. Now for the task number three, just simply type IAM, open this thing new tab. Just come back over here, just wait. Now just wait for and now click on this cross now here in the filter section please pay attention just simply type cloud build without any space okay just make sure just type hit enter you will get this principle some random number at the rate cloud build dot g service dot com okay click on this pencil icon and here we have to add two roles so just simply go back to your lab instructions come on the task number three now copy the first role Come back over here click on add another role just simply select and just search for it okay now again come back over here copy this second role click on again add role and again search it okay make sure your roles must look like this if it's so just simply click on save and you are done with the task number three as well now again go back to notepad copy the task number four command come back over here and run the command over here okay now again come back to notepad copy the task number five command okay now this command is going to take a couple of minutes so what we have to do once you're run, done with the task number five command go back to lab instructions come on the task number one check the score you will get a score without any issue now check the score for task number two you will get a score without any issue now same for task number three and task number four okay just wait and we got a score for all the four tasks now here for the task number five just wait until you see the step number zero step number one okay i will show you what do i mean now here you can see i am getting step zero 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 then after that i will get step number one 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 so when you start seeing this kind of output just simply come on the task number five and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue once you get a score you can just simply come over here and click on Control c okay so for just cancelling this thing when you start seeing this step zero one two just come over here and click on check my progress after getting a green tick over here you can just simply close this tab and if, if you want you can just say we got a score for all the five tasks and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys